Bonjour class. Today we are going to learn about the regular verbs. Verbs are in two forms in, a, in any given sentence. It is either in an infinitive form or a conjugated form. An infinitive verb is a whole verb where you don't define who is doing the action or when the action is happening. And when you define these two things that who is doing the action that is your subject or your subject pronoun and when the action is happening that is the tense you, you are doing nothing but conjugating the verb. So an infinitive verb in French ends with er, ir or re. You pick up any verb from the French language. In its infinitive form it will always end with er, ir or re. Now, what are subject pronouns? Which are our subject pronouns in French? Je, tu, il, elle, on. They are used for the singular form. And nous, vous, ils and elles. They are used for the plural forms. There are two parts to every word, verb. That is a stem and an ending. Like you have a like in a plant, you have a stem to the plant and then there are leaves. The stem of the plant remains as it is and what keeps changing according to the season are the other leaves. Similar way, the stem of our verb remains as it is and the endings we keep changing according to the tense and the subject pronoun. So here we see the stem of few verbs. Jouer, you remove the er and it, the remaining part of the verb is your stem. So, the, in the infinitive verb where we learnt the endings, er, ir and re, that is the ending. And when you remove that ending from the spelling of the word, the remaining part of the word is nothing but the stem. So, here you can see some of the, some of the stems where I remove the er from the word and the remaining part of the word is nothing but the stem of the verb. Now, we will learn how to conjugate the verb using present tense. To form the verb for ER ending, for ER ending verbs, you keep the stem as it is and you add these endings. That is E, ES, E, ONS, EZ, ENT. So here we see an example of the jouer verb where JU becomes the stem. And ER is our ending. So we keep JU as it is and we change the ending ER according to my subject pronouns. In the JE form it will become JE JU. In TU form it will become JU with ES. In IL EL OF it will become JU with E again. In NUS form it becomes JU ON as I change to ONS. In VUS form it becomes JU A as I put EZ. And in L and L form, the plural form, it become, we pronounce it as ju, we add ENT because in present tense, ills as third person plural form, we don't pronounce the ending ENT. So I'll say il ju, el ju. Similarly, for the RE endings, these are the RE endings, so S, S, nothing, not, nothing, ONS, EZ and ENT. So when I say nothing, I just remove the ending and my stamp is the way I conjugate the verb. So here we see an example of the Sondra verb where this from the Sondra I remove RE and I put these endings as you can see in the third person plural form. The Sond, I don't put S. So I pronounce it as the Sond. So the Sond, the Sond, the Sond. They sound don't, they sound they, and again they sound. Now coming to the IR endings. So IS, IS, IT, IT, ISS, ONS, ISS, EZ, ISS, ENT. So here is an example of finir verb where FIN is my stamp, FAN, and I add IR. So here I see how I, con you see how I conjugate the verb. Fini, fini, fini. Finissons, finissez, finissez. 
Now, what is present tense? We heard, we learned the endings, we learned how to conjugate, we understood what is a stem and how we change the endings. But what is present tense? So, any action that is happening in the present tense that is currently happening, we put it as present tense, right? So, but in English, we have so many different types of present tenses like present continuous, present perfect, etc. But in French, we have this one present tense that we conjugate. So now when I say j'étudie la français, I have conjugated étudier verb which means to study in present tense. So here, this is equivalent to all the types of, all the different types of present tenses that are there in English. So when I say j'étudie, it can be translated as I study French. It can be translated as I do study French. And it can also be translated as I am studying French. Students usually make mistake here saying whenever it is said that I am studying French, they put je suis and etudi. Please note that you cannot put two conjugated verbs together without a conjunction in a, in a sentence. There has to be a conjunction or you have to put a comma saying that there are two separate actions happening. So you, when you say je suis etudi, it is wrong. So this is your, our simple statement. This is the statement with emphasis. And the last statement shows that the action is in progress. Thank you. Merci beaucoup.